hey guys and welcome back to my channel how is everybody doing today i hope you guys are having a lovely day so i recently did a video about the best moisturizing deep conditioners for natural hair i kind of did that as a replacement for my fall and winter stash video because you guys know i'm consistently using a lot of the same things um, and that, that video would have been exactly the same, right? So I felt like moisturizing deep conditioners, if you have to have those, right? But a lot of you guys said you wanted to follow up with just like leave-ins and moisturizers and stuff like that. So I pulled some of the most moisturizing leave-ins and moisturizers that I have in my collection. So if you are interested in seeing my top moisturizing leave-ins for dry natural hair so just keep on watching all right so let's start with the first one because i just finished doing a video featuring this product i don't know if this is going up first or if that video is going up first but this is the hair and it's giving me life even though do y'all ever feel like the camera doesn't do your hair justice like she looks so big and luscious in person but i feel like the camera is making her look small <laughs> but what i have in as my leave-in base today is the melanin multi-use softening leave-in conditioner with nourishing baobab oil turnip root and pro vitamin b5 and of course she is in a nice beautiful 16 fluid ounce container can't go wrong with that clearly i love her because she is halfway empty and I haven't had this long. Y'all know oftentimes it takes me like 10,000 years to go through a leave-in conditioner because I really don't use a ton of leave-in conditioners, partially for the sake of um, avoiding flaking, but also because I've learned over the years that I don't need to add as much product to get my desired result, you know? <laughs> um, so I've learned over time that I really don't need to add as much product as I used to add. So this leave-in conditioner is bomb. One, because you can use it for several different things. It works great as a pre-poo. Um, you can use this as a rinse-out conditioner. The slip on this product is everything. I've heard people say it feels watery. I don't know what kind of water y'all got at home, but it don't feel watery to me. She is creamy. She is thick. She's not like thick like a heavy moisturizer, but it's a leave-in conditioner. And it's supposed to be thick like that. Um, the beauty of this is that it has a lot of creamy of creaminess. This is going to also plump up your curls. And what I love about this is that I can feel the moisture, but I can also see how my hair is reacting with the product to add that um, extra curl definition and really create that plump look that I like to have in my hair, especially in the winter time. This product does have glycerin. Now, glycerin does not bother me in the winter time. But the you the spearmint oils in it kind of give it that like cooling vibe when it hits your hair and it just feels so good going on it makes your hair feel super duper soft the slip is bomb and the moisturizing properties are awesome so i really enjoy using this i've used it for a multitude of things not just as a leave-in conditioner and not even just as a pre-poo like i've used this to do bantu knots like it gave me such a beautiful shiny bantu knot out um, i've used this for a lot of different things she's very multi-purpose very moisturizing and she smells like yummy spearmint gum. Yeah, so Melanin Multi-Use Softening Leave-In Conditioner is bomb. Is there a lot of hype around it? Absolutely. Um, all of it is deserved. Whitney did her thing when she made this product, so. And let's talk about one that's new to me. So I was introduced to this um, over the summertime this year. This line came out over the summer and it is from one of my favorite brands. Um, she sent it Juicy Curls Hydrating Milkshake. This one is lightweight, glycerin free, and nourishing. So it has that like juice packaging. Um, there were two leave-ins in this line. There was a hydrating milkshake and then there was a leave-in smoothie. The leave-in smoothie didn't do much of anything for me. It's one of the few products from She Scented that I've ever been disappointed in. I could see what they were trying to do there, but it just, it didn't work. This smells so good. It smells like passion fruit, little melon, 
this is so nice but even though this is marketed for like the summertime this has so much moisture that you can use it you know all year round it doesn't weigh my hair down in the summertime um and it doesn't make my hair like gummy or gross in the summertime but this also shows up hardcore for me when it's cold outside it has a great moisture so this is definitely a great year-round product and it's glycerin free for those of you who struggle with glycerin um this has a lot of fruit extracts within the first five um this has a lot of fatty alcohols there's beet sugar and um, and avocado oil in here which my hair seems to really really react well to beet sugar and avocado um anytime i see beet sugar in a product like my hair is just so silky this has such a beautiful luscious texture this paired with the um tahiti cocktail custard from the tahiti cocktail collection is bomb and i love it because it gives me a little bit more lift than the um leave-in from the tahiti cocktail collection so it was just when i did that review my hair was so glossy and just it was just so beautiful it is such a beautiful product it leaves shine it leaves bounce it plumps up the curls this is definitely trying to come for my other favorite leave-in from she sent it which is the tahiti cocktail leave-in smoothie y'all can see i've been working on her um this is a hydrating detangler for dry thirsty curls with dragon fruit beetroot and ginger this is another one that is very extract heavy this is very thick though this is the thickest leave-in that she sent it has ever created so if you really love that thick leave-in conditioner this is going to satisfy that love for you um but it's still it's not so thick that it doesn't do anything you know um it's thick but it still gives me that nice plumpness this weighs down my curls a little bit more with its companion styler so if i'm looking for that more like way down look then i'll use this with that if i want a little bit more volume then i'll use the juicy curls with that um both combinations are stunning this brings so much moisture to the hair you don't need a lot to get it through your hair and to get sufficient moisture and i believe this is glycerin free it's gonna have you smelling like summertime in the winter time but that's okay because your hair gonna be bomb it's gonna be moisturized soft luscious plush supple okay all right so next up i have an og fave and they have recently revamped this to be a little bit thicker that is the she scented pomegranate pear moisture milk multifunctioning leave-in styler with pomegranate prickly pear and avocado for all hair types again eight and a half fluid ounces I have not opened this yet because I've been trying to be good and get through some other things before I open my pomegranate pear because whenever I open up these, I forget about everything else. And so my whole, I'm trying to finish up this stuff before, whenever, that ain't gonna happen if I open this up because I'm just keep using this. <laughs> this is another one that has awesome ingredients. This one does have vegetable glycerin midway through the list. Um, I love this so much. I have been rocking with this product and its companion oil and gel hair pudding for like what two three years now it still stands as one of my favorite combos for natural hair this just in general is softening it is moisturizing it adds extra shine it adds extra body it adds extra bounce this product seems so mundane but it does so much and it lasts forever. Like my first bottle, I don't even know how many uses I got out of it because I, it took so long to go through y'all. Like it was crazy. So I am a huge fan of this product. It smells amazing. It has dope ingredients. Um, and they have made this a little bit thicker just to satisfy those who really are looking for that milk consistency. It's emollient, but it's still thin and I love it so pomegranate pear moisture milk is bomb oh this is giving me flashbacks this is giving me flashbacks to the first to my first she scented haul and I was so excited to use these products I had just gone out on a whim and I said I'm just gonna spend the money and get these products and honestly she sent it is kind of what like took my channel up so I'm always going to have 
sentimental value to the to this collection in general because it just it changed my hair game and it changed my channel next up i am working so hard to finish this y'all so hard i'm halfway through it y'all will be proud of me i'm halfway through this whenever i have the opportunity to use it when i'm not filming i use it and that is the royal honey and argan buttercream rich moisturizing hair cream for very dry hair this is still stands as my favorite cream from she sent it um the avocado moisture max is really really great and i enjoy that i have a battle between those two i'll link it in the cards above um the biggest difference with this the avocado one is that this one does not contain glycerin so there's avocado oil there's marshmallow root coconut castor um and raw honey so here your humectant is raw honey and that one your humectant is glycerin my hair loves honey and if your hair loves honey i think you will love this what i love about these she scented creams is that they have a lightness to them so that if you want to just lay this down as your only moisturizing base and put um your styler on top you can totally do that i tend to use this on top of some of their more of their thinner leave-in conditioner formulas um to really just get that extra like moisture in but this can also be used on its own as its own moisture base because that's how moisturizing it is it adds shine it just adds so much moisture it just makes your curls feel plump and almost more dense like it's just one of those products that just adds something to your hair to make it feel fuller than it may actually be i'm always so happy when i use this product always i actually think i'm going to use this tomorrow because i don't need to film um and i want to finish this up in my tropical moringa pearly braid out glaze so i think i might do that combo with my tropical moringa tomorrow um but yeah if you have not tried this i've been raving about this for a long time and for good reason it's a bomb product um she sent it um, as well as Curl Origin make other awesome creams, but this is the one that I always go back to. All right, next up, this has to be in the video. Um, I have like two squirts of my other bottle, so it's time for me to pull out this backup. <laughs> that is the TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner with green tea and argan oil. She is OG staple for a reason. They have other leave-in conditioners and they are bomb. The one from the Miracle Repair Collection. The one from the Rosewater Collection. Dope for spring and summer. It's very lightweight and penetrative. And y'all know I like that kind of situation. Um, but this, I always go back to the original. Because nothing ever truly feels like the original Green Tea Super Moist. Um, if you are not familiar with this, this is a leave-in conditioner that is lightweight but still creamy it penetrates into the hair very very well um and this has a long-standing reputation for being one of the best leave-in conditioners on the market honestly it's a perfect balance and i feel like whenever i use this my hair is exactly where it needs to be i love the smell i love the texture this is just always a bomb leave-in this works really well for me year round but when i use it in the winter time this is another leave-in conditioner that keeps my hair just so like just perfect on point where it needs to be i still highly suggest this this is one of those products even though i may not be on here using it every video i always have a backup um there's always a bottle of this somewhere wherever i'm living there's always a bottle of this because I always turn back to it. Um, and I've been using this since I went natural. So it's been a staple for me, no matter how long or short, no matter what my hair has been through, this has shown up and shown out. Sultanicals. I'll be real. I don't have a ton of like leave-ins and moisturizers that I'm crazy about from Sultanicals. But there's one in particular that has my heart. She's almost empty and I'm sad about it. But I'm about to be fighting with y'all on that damn Sultanicals website for Black Friday. I, I was not. I was not. I was not about to knock up on Black Friday. Because I had to get up and go to work in the morning. <laughs> um, the leave-in that I'm talking about is the Frizz Wiz Curl Defining Leave-In. Y'all, when I, when I tell y'all I've been using this, I've been using this a lot. And every time I go to use it, I'm like, alright, this is going to be the last use. She about to be empty. And it's like, no. 
no I'm not I was wrong again <laughs> this is my favorite leave-in from Sultanicals this is honestly somewhat simplistic in its formulation but it is just so good and it's the way that it defines my curls before I put anything else on my hair it smells like candy it softens the hair so much it adds extra shine it adds extra bounce it just makes my curls feel so good there is so much moisture in this leave-in conditioner and I love to pair this either with the Sprung Coil Boosting Jelly from Sultanicals or I have been using this with Kinky Curly Curling Custard, the original Curling Custard. My boo Xavier put me onto that and I have not been able to stop wearing that and honestly that has become a champion for 2020. Every time I put this and that Curling Custard in my hair, someone's like, girl, what, you got that Kinky Curling stuff in your hair? Cause now I didn't gave out the info to people. Like they know this combo. And like my coworkers would be like, are you doing that like Sultanicals and Kinky Curly again? And I'd be like, yeah. And they'd be like, girl, it's so good. And my customers would be like, girl, Sultanicals and Kinky Curly. And I'd be like, yes. <laughs> it's such a good combo. The gloss, the shine, it's stunning, but it wouldn't be anything without this. I have used Kinky Curly with lots of things and for some reason, this just sets it off. This is such a good leave-in conditioner if you have not tried um, any leave-ins from Sultanicals. But yeah, Frizzwiz Curl Defining Leave-In is where it's at. Get you some Frizzwiz and, kink, and Kinky Curly. I, that's all I'm saying. If you, if you don't take anything away from 2020 from the Third Eye Angel, Frizz was and Kinky Curly, I'm telling you. Let's talk about nature's little secret. It took everything in me not to put like every single like creamy thing they make in this video. Cause, cause all of it's bomb. Hey Shardy, what's up girl? But I had to put this in here, even though it is a seasonal product. Um, I love the banana leave-in. But when I tried this with the flaxseed curly custard, this really did it for me. That's the avocado moisture cream with avocado oil and avocado butter for all hair types. Now she has made this product seasonal. So I think she brought it back for Black Friday, but it will be back when the temperatures kind of start to get a little warmer. So she initially kind of made this to be like a refresher. Like if you know the, um, the Fresh Curls from Camille Rose, this was kind of supposed to be that same concept, but you know how we do. We just slap the shit in and put a gel on top of it and go. I love this product. It gives me the slip of the banana leave-in, but it has that extra emollients that you don't get from the banana leave-in. Banana leave-in is great when I really want like that cute, like shaped, like up here kind of wash and go. It is great for that because it just gives, it keeps your hair lifted. But if I just want a little bit more emollients, a little bit more weight, this is the one that I go to. So if you have this in your collection and you haven't been using it, pull it back out. And if you are interested in this, make sure that you are on her emailing list when this comes back in the warmer months. But I feel like this is great for the colder months. I really love the Irish Moss Styling Cream, but it is truly a styler, um, even though sometimes I put that underneath um, the Flaxy Curly Custard too, because it still has a lot of moisture to it. So um, usually if I'm doing a, a Nature's Little Secret Wash and Go these days and it's colder outside, I'm either doing this or the Irish Moss underneath. But the Irish Moss is so good, you can just use it by itself. Just slap it in your hair and go, and it's just fluffy and moisturized. It's great for twist outs, it's great for braid outs. So I felt like this was the one that needed to be in this video because it is a true punch of moisture. It's not styling, it's not. It's just moisture. It's so good, it has great ingredients. Um, avocado oil, aloe, slippery elm, avoca um, avocado butter, agave nectar. You notice kind of a theme here. I really like these leave-ins that are super slippery. Um, so a lot of them have that BTMS, a lot of them have that slippery elm. Those are ingredients that I do look for in my leave-in conditioners a lot of the time because I do use them to detangle. So if you have it, pull it back out. If you don't have it, be on the lookout for when it returns. 
let's talk about Camille Rose. I feel like I don't always give Camille Rose enough love when it comes to some of these videos, but especially for this time of year, Camille Rose is the moisture authority. Like if you are looking for straight up pure unadulterated moisture, you need to be looking at Camille Rose. Um, Camille Rose, like I've said before, can be a little much for me in the summertime, but when the temperatures drop, the first thing I do is pull out my Camille Rose. So the first one I wanna mention is one that I don't hear people talking about a lot. And this is like a true like leave-in conditioner formulation. This is her Lavender Whipped Cream Leave-In Intense Moisturizing Leave-In Cream. Y'all, Th this is good. I need to pull this lavender collection back out. It has a great lavender scent. She's thick, y'all. Like you see, she's not she's not going anywhere. She's thick. She got body. She's making several points. No twerking over here. She got muscular booty. This is such a good leave-in conditioner. Um, the first time I tried this, I was like, why is my hair so shiny? Why does it look so velvety? Why didn't anybody tell me about this? Like, I just don't understand why people don't talk about this as much. Um as her other leave-ins. Now, I do have an unopened bottle of the coconut water leave-in, which used to be one of my favorites back in the day, but I know that it is different from what it was when it first came out. So I've been hesitant to try it. So I've just been living on my Camille Rose leave-in dreams with this, because this is amazing. And this actually reminds me a lot of what the original coconut water leave-in used to be like. Um, it's not exactly like it. Um, it's definitely a little bit thicker. The coconut water leave-in, the first time it came out, almost kind of felt like frosting. If you remember when that first came out, to confirm in comments below, it kind of had like a frosting texture. Now it's definitely different. Um, but this is, is so good. Plus you get that lavender, so it kind of like stimulates the scalp a little bit, makes everything feel a little tingly. I like that too. This is great with the lavender gel. Now, I do have the old formula and it was brought to my attention that it was reformulated. So I don't know if the lavender gel is still good or not. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> but I love this. This is the, the new situation. Um, I love this. It's thick, it's rich, it's moisturizing. It makes your hair so shiny and gives you that deep, wavy, fresh, out the pack look. That's what this does. Like this is this is that in a bottle. So high key in love with this leave-in. I need to use her more. I'm gonna set her aside. Another one that I revisited this year. Well, actually didn't revisit. I actually had never used this product. I'd used the curl maker, I'd used lots of their other moisturizers, but I hadn't used this product. Don't ask me why. I don't know why I hadn't used it. I'll be special sometimes, okay? This is the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk with rice milk and macadamia oil. It's a softening leave-in conditioning cream with light notes of macadamia nut and vanilla. It smells like cake. The texture is everything. This isn't, honestly, isn't quite as thick as the, um, you can kind of see. It's not quite as thick as the lavender leave-in. The lavender leave-in is thicker. This is so smooth and it is so moisturizing. This is such a beautiful hair milk because it penetrates into the hair so well. It gives you tons of moisture without weighing the strands down super heavily. And it's a perfect pair. It's a perfect pair with curl maker. I, I just did this wash and go the other day. I had this wash and go in my hair like two days ago. I recently washed it out and it lasts forever because the moisture lasts forever. Like obviously Curl Maker is not a drying gel. So that gives points to it too. But this right here has so much moisture. It's softening, it adds shine, it adds bounce. Like this is just such, it's a classic. It's a staple. If you haven't tried it, don't be like me. Try it and see how you like it because this is bomb. I don't know why I slept on this for so long. I don't know why it took until 2020 for me to try this, but it's really, really good. Um, I've actually made a good way through this. I've used this quite a bit. 
um, but I still have quite a lot. So Cola Moisture Milk. This is definitely, I feel like kind of low key a requirement. If you're gonna get Camille Rose, um, you need to try this. <laughs> and last for Camille Rose, I don't use this as much as I used to, but I'm about to really pull this out heavily because it just got cold enough for me to use it. Oh, this is so good. I used to use this heavily when I was just learning how to do twist outs. This is the Camille Rose Curlade Moisture Butter with green tea and jojoba. People talk so much about the Almond J Twisting Butter, but for me, the Moisture Butter is everything. Look at that texture. And I actually have used this. Like, I used this quite a bit last year, um, but it really doesn't take a lot for me now in the way that I use it. I use a little bit more if I am doing twists. Um, and I honestly might put this aside because I've kind of been craving to do like a twist out on my hair. So I might use this to do that soon. But again, dope ingredients. There's rice milk in here coconut oil, olive oil, green tea. So this is great to use as a moisturizer. Every now and then I will just add a little bit of this um, on my hair and just do curl maker on top if I'm looking for like extreme moisture. This is also really, really great for twist outs, braid outs, all that good stuff. The texture is just everything. Like you, you can't beat this. It's just bomb. So curly Moisture Butter, a lot of people still don't talk about it. This has been underrated for a very long time. But if you are interested in trying Camille Rose, you need to try this. Of course, gotta do my lineup of things that you guys already know. Mish Lavish Leave-In Conditioner. I just recently finished a bottle of this. I love this conditioner. Um, it has aloe and avocado and tons of other great ingredients. Castor, horsetail, nettle, rosemary. <sighs> This leave-in, I feel like, doesn't get enough love, honestly. A lot of people say I don't do much for them, but I love this leave-in so much. It keeps my hair super moisturized. It's thick without weighing my hair down exponentially. I usually pair this with, um, what, what is it, my Uncle Funky's Curly Magic. This also works beautifully with my curl maker as well, um, I have used it recently with my Ren Pure and it works really well with my Ren Pure too. So I really like this. It's, I don't know, there's just something different about it compared to all my other leave-ins and maybe it's because it's so thick, but it still allows my hair to dry with a lightness to it. It leaves so much moisture, like literally all week. I can put this and my Uncle Funky's in my hair and it's moisturized for a week. It gives me that kind of moisture. So I absolutely love this stuff. If you are new to me or you still haven't tried this, I highly suggest trying it. It's bomb. And another one that I have been cracking back out um, since it got cold outside. Y'all already knew she was going to be in this video. You should have known. You should have known. Ajwa Bail Mint Leave-In Styler. So good. I'm almost finished with this bottle, y'all. And y'all know I don't go through leave-ins. I don't. <laughs> Honestly, Ajwa is just a natural hair person's dream. Like if you have natural hair, I feel like you need to try Ajwa because Julian just gets it. She just gets it. Her products are highly concentrated. You don't need a lot of them. They have effective ingredients and they work. It is so moisturizing. Now I do have to be careful with this. If it When it does get warmer outside, I do have to be careful with this. I can't always use this year round because it is super duper moisturizing. But in the fall and winter, this is Bay, and she's been Bay. I love to pair this with my um, Bowl Buttery Gel from The Main Choice. This is just so good. It's emollient, but it still smooths through the hair very easily. Um, it doesn't leave my hair greasy um, or like with a film on it, like some leave-in conditioners with similar textures do. This doesn't do that. It penetrates into the hair strand even though it does have a thickness to it. And this is beautiful for so many different types and textures and so many different needs. Depending on what you're going for, you could do a twist out or a braid out with this if you wanted to. 
but I love to use this underneath my gels and that is just such a beautiful leave-in conditioner. The moisture is on 5,000 with this. Like the moisture, the softness, the plump look that you get in your curls from those silk amino acids, like it's bomb, it's bomb. So Ajua Bayomint Leave-In leave -in Conditioning Styler, everything for this time of year, absolutely everything. I actually just opened this. Um, this is one of my backups that I had. This is the main choice accomplished triple layer leave-in from the Do It Fro the Culture collection for untouchable definition and unmatched volume. This is such a good leave-in, but she thick. She thickety thick. She thickety thick pickums. She she thick. This is definitely one that is not going to do well if you are working on a dry head of hair. Unless, I could see styling with this, like actually styling with this on dry hair, but as far as like trying to track that moisture in there, it's not going to sink in the way you want it to on dry hair. But you can see it's, she's thick. Has that gray color from that charcoal in there. The castor seed oil, and the black cumin seed oil, I'm convinced, are what really make these Do It For The Culture products stand out in my hair. Um, I love the way this feels on my hair. I actually don't really use it with the bowl buttery gel though. I use this a lot with my Uncle Funkies. It's actually how I ended up finishing off the last bottle that I had. So this is the backup that I just pulled out of my backup shelf. I just pulled, put it up there. Um, this for me, I wouldn't say it's like super detangling. Like it's very, very thick. Um, this isn't my first choice for detangling, but this be moisturizing, like super moisturizing. Um, I know they have a milk from the Heavenly Halo collection that they talk about a lot from the main choice. I have it, I haven't tried it yet, but this is where it's at, especially when it's really, really cold outside and you really need that good moisture. This is really thick and it locks all of that goodness in so i really enjoy this if you're looking for something really thick and moisturizing from the main choice i highly suggest this one the sweet papaya and pineapple infinite leave-in conditioner i have it over here somewhere this one is a really really great option from them too but this one is even more moisturizing than this so these are like my two favorite leave-ins from the main choice but this one is still one of my like top. Next up is one that is new to me. I've shared this in some videos with you this year. That is the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength Divine Strength Leave-In. Y'all. I think in the in the video I did on this, I used it with my bowl buttery gel. This is dope with bowl buttery gel. It's really good with curl maker too. Um, and also really good with the Cheers Gelato. So good. Um, this is formulated with castor oil, ginger, and black cumin seed oil. So this is supposed to be like a strengthening line. This does have cones in it. Y'all know I don't care. It's the moisture for me. Like the black cumin seed in here, the castor seed oil, like it's it's the moisture for me. I don't care if this got silicone because the moisture is popping. Um, this has beautiful slip, even though it is super duper thick. Should give y'all a texture shot. So she's super thick. I like the smell too. But if you're fragrance sensitive, you're not gonna be able to jive with this. I'm just gonna tell you now. But this is another deep wave fresh out the pack child. Like she comes in and just really moisturizes everything and gives you that really wavy, like luscious look, at least for me. Um, Cause y'all know I got a little bit of everything in my hair. Some things really pull out that natural spiral in my curls. Some things pull out that natural S shape that I have in a lot of the pieces in my hair as well. This really pulls out that natural S shape in my hair and it makes my hair look so glossy and defined and shiny. I just, Carol's daughter did it for me this year. Like Carol's daughter was really like, hey, you ain't about to forget about us. And I'm with it. This was an awesome launch. I loved everything in that collection. This is easy to mix with other stylers too. It's not one that you're like, okay, this is dope, but I can't put it with nothing. It flakes with everything. This is not one of those products for me, so 
you definitely need to try this for this time of year. It's easy to get. I think you can find it at Target. You can find it at Sally's. You can find it on Carol's Daughter's website. Get you some Goddess Strength. It's good. Uh, this is brand spanking new to me, and I had to put this in here. I've heard so much about this moisturizer. And when I finally tried it, I was like, I understand the hype. I mean, type 3, type 4, everybody been raving about this moisturizer. And that is the avocado moisturizer from Curl Mix. Now I have the Curl Mix Fresh from September, the Blackberry Boost one, y'all. The moisture, the hydration. This is the type of hydration and moisture that you can see and everybody else can see too. This thing smells so good. It is, it's not like, like you can kind of see, it's thick but it still has some fluidity to it. I love this moisturizer because it has lots of good oils in there, but it's not greasy. It doesn't leave your hair feeling greasy. It just feels so hydrated and balanced and moisturized. And I also like that this has guar gum in here because that goes in and starts to add to the styling capabilities. You're styling your hair before you even really put the styler on. And I love that about this product. Curl Mix is mad expensive. I know. But the the ingredients, the quality, the everything, the employment of black folks, I love and I will pay for it. This moisturizer is bomb. Honestly, like even if you didn't try the actual flaxseed gel, you the moisturizer, the moisturizer is where it's at. So Curl Mix, Pure Avocado Moisturizer. Try it, it's bomb. It's so moisturizing. This is definitely like winter stash worthy. All right, and then the last two are from Honey's Handmade. Um, one is more so an honorable mention because you can't get it all the time. So the first one I'm gonna show you, you can get all the time. And I'm sure you probably know what it is. This coconut water leave-in condition. Y'all, she thick. She, she thick in the waist, thick in the booty. She thick in the everything. Smells like fresh coconut water. She is thick. Like she is about as thick as you can get without it being a true like heavy moisturizer. This, deep wave fresh out the pack. Deep wave fresh out the pack. This is so moisturizing. You don't need a lot. I literally just had to take one little little scoop with my finger and run it through the whole section and it's done. The slip, beautiful. The shine, bomb. The moisture is lasting. I can get seven plus days of moisture out of this alone. Um, I think when I use this, I use this with its companion gel. And even though the gel has some issues, that wash and go was still bomb. The gel had issues, but the wash and go was still bomb. Just so moisturized and luscious. Um, if you are looking at trying Honey's Handmade, I feel like trying the coconut water leave-in condition is mandatory. This is another one that kind of has one of those gums in there that's going to start to kind of enhance that texture that you have even before you put a styler on. So good. I can see this being a little too heavy for people who have extra fine strands but I can still pull this one off. So that is coconut water leave-in condition. Miss Valencia put her foot in this when she made this. Bomb. And then last but not least, this is my honorable mention because you can't always get this. Um, this is the Melba's Hair Stuffing Decadent and Daily Moisturizer from her Melba's Edition 2 box. So I like to use this. Yeah, you guys actually saw me use this um, in my fall inspired wash day. I like to use this with the uh, coconut and apple curl glaze. Even though this is super duper rich, you don't need a lot of this at all. It takes forever to get through a jar, which is why I don't have any backups of it. <laughs> um, because she has come back out with these on their own for sale um, every now and then. The smells like Thanksgiving and it's thick but it melts into the strands and if you guys were really paying attention to that video you saw how much shine was introduced to my hair just upon application the shine on that product so good so bomb 
it leaves so much moisture like moisture for days and it makes your hair so soft so when i finished that style like my hair was so soft and shiny and moisturized this in combination with that um coconut and apple curl glaze will have your hair glistening like you will blind somebody in the streets that is how good it is but y'all i absolutely love this stuff this is just so beautiful when it comes to the moisture this is definitely like a cold weather staple for me as well because it really keeps my hair nice and enveloped in those good ingredients and it keeps it moisturized for as long as i need it to be moisturized if i need seven days i can get seven days it's so good so if you can manage to get your hands on this whenever she does her sales and she brings these back i think she brought this back when she brought the whole box back for black friday it was probably just easier that way but the next time she brings them back separately try this moisturizer it's bomb the the pecan defining hair butter is really good too but i prefer this this is the one this is the one <laughs> all right guys so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed um hopefully this is sufficient for what you guys were asking for for an equivalent to that last video all of these are super duper moisturizing even though some of them may have proteins in them these aren't protein focused products these are all super moisturizing products um and so i just wanted to give you guys a good comprehend comprehensive list because it's finally getting cold and staying cold and i hope it stays that way because it's not supposed to be hot right now it scares me <laughs> but yeah um let me know what are some of your favorite leave-ins and moisturizers especially for this time of year um leave them in the comments down below because i love it when y'all put me on thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're new welcome i hope you click this like button if you enjoyed what you saw and of course subscribe because i love adding to my fan bam y'all we are almost at 5k I'm so hype i'm so ready I think I'm going to do it before the end of the year. I, th I think we are. So welcome to all my new subbies. Make sure you are hitting that notification bell so you're notified of all of my new uploads because I'm doing hair, got some makeup, we got some fragrance, all that good stuff. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.